Hi students how are you all I hope all you are fine and well welcome back to my geography class myself shumiran sir and today i will discuss about the map pointing part of geography chapter number 6 that you have read in your textbook so already you have read chapter number 6 the distribution of the natural vegetation in this video we will discuss about the location of the natural vegetation in the world along with the natural vegetation we will also discuss and also show you the location of the tropical and the temperate grassland in the world so follow the video till the end before that you should take out one world outline map your black color pen and color pencil and first of all watch the video then you will accordingly practice in the map you can see the video and you can practice later on without seeing you have to practice and this you have to prepare for your examination so let's start so this type of blank map you will take color pencil is required as well as black color pen don't use any pastel color or water color for coloring you can also use the shade also apart from coloring okay and the writing on the map should be on the black color pen should be with black color pen so what we have to do first of all we have to locate this following vegetation on the world map first the tropical evergreen forest tropical deciduous forest coniferous forest mediterranean forest vegetation and the tundra vegetation at the or the tundra forest these are the five natural vegetation first of all you have to point it out on the map so this is a map i have already done and i have also done the index at the corner of the map okay and with the different colors and symbols i have used to show the location of it on the map so let's see first of all first is the tropical evergreen forest so tropical evergreen forest mainly found in both side of the equator okay so here you can see in south america here this is the region where the tropical evergreen forest is found it is marked with green and again it is shaded in dotted okay in africa in this part in the western part of the africa the tropical evergreen this is the equator in the both side of the equator this tropical evergreen forest is found as well as in the asian countries also okay southeast asian countries here some of the islands are there java sumatra borneo philippines okay singapore so here around the equator in both side of the equator up to 10 degree in both the hemisphere 10 to 15 degree we can find the tropical evergreen forest so these are the zone or the location now if you it is asked marked uh, the location of tropical evergreen forest in north america or maybe called in south america okay north america it is not widely found south america or in asia you have to locate on the particular region okay you can color it or you can shade it so here on the index it is already given first is the tropical evergreen forest then the tropical deciduous so tropical deciduous where it is found okay it is mainly found in these parts okay mainly in india and the south asian some countries myanmar okay which are located on the same latitudes of india here we can find the tropical deciduous forest or on the northern half of the australia also you can find the tropical deciduous forest so in yellow color i have marked and i have given some broken dotted lines okay tropical evergreen forest this is the index next is the mediterranean forest mediterranean forest you can find that this is the mediterranean sea okay and both side of the mediterranean sea in the southern part there is africa in the northern half there is europe so surrounding the mediterranean region this here you can find the mediterranean type of climate as well as mediterranean vegetation grows over there okay in the northern part of the african continents in the east west of some asian continents and the south of some european countries okay so here you can find the location of the tropical or sorry the mediterranean forest next is the coniferous forest and the tundra forest coniferous forest is also called the taiga forest it is mainly found in the northern part 
okay in north america the entire region it has been covered okay in orange color as well as with the symbol of cross it is given so this belt as well as in europe and asia this belt okay along the siberian and the russian countries these belts scandinavian countries this has been covered up with the tropic coniferous forest okay coniferous forest mainly they are cold Uh, region and the forest are mainly uh, elongated conifers types of tree conical um, shapes of the tree are found on this region pine spurs fir okay so these are cedar deodar these are the trees mainly found in the coniferous region okay now above just to the north of the coniferous forest this coniferous vegetation is not found in the southern part of the continent you can see it not found in any of the part of the southern part of the continent and tundra vegetation also it is because the southern part of the continent of our um, sorry the southern part of the world okay is mainly covered maximum part has been covered up with water body so you cannot find uh, mainly coniferous or the tundra type of vegetation is the southern part so they are located in the northern part so the above near the polar region or in the high latitudes okay where the inter uh, year uh, throughout the entire year it has been covered up with snow okay maximum time is uh, being a very cold climate okay and seven months are mainly two to three month duration where the temperature may be above freezing point or sometimes may be below freezing point where mosses and leeches types of uh, grasses or small shrubs go so these are the tundras okay so tundra type of vegetation you can find in this region okay here is the location of the tundra region you can find okay here so you can also locate this in the deep green color it has been marked over here and from there you can locate so in this map i have already shown these five types of natural vegetation okay and uh, you just follow the map as well as follow the index and you will practice accordingly in your map okay so i hope whatever and this part i have discussed you have already understood okay so on the screen the map is there you can take the help of this map and you can practice so let's come to the next slide here i have given you to do some uh, of the tropical grassland and temperate grassland of the world and their location the savanna tropical and the temperate grassland don't mix it up okay the tropical grassland are mainly located in the tropical region near the equator a temperate grassland in the mid latitude region okay so tropical grassland is known as savanna east africa lianos in venezuela and comfos in brazil so these three regions i have given you to do as the location of temperate grassland pampas south america prairies north america steppe asia as well as in europe also uh, veld africa and towns in australia these are the several names of temperate grassland okay and it is already given in your book also okay from there you also you can once you read out and then you try to locate it so here is the map it is already done by me from here and the, you can follow you can practice from this map in both the colors what i have marked okay on uh, yellow and the light green color i have used to show the two types of grassland tropical and the temperate grassland now the tropical grassland okay in africa east part of the africa this region which is covered by tropical grassland this tropical grassland is known as savanna see the tropical grassland of africa is known as savanna and the temperate grassland is called veld so it is located in temperate region it is located in the tropical region don't be confused or mixed it up okay now the tropical grassland of the south america it has been divided into two plus lianas near the venezuela region and camphos in brazil these are also the tropical grassland mainly found in the south american continent and in south america these are the true tropical grassland and the temperate grassland is called pampas okay here in argentina it is known as pampas so see the location i have already given and i have also written the map so don't mix it up so in this map i have done both tropical and temperate grassland so that you can differentiate between it the tropical grassland of africa is known as savanna the temperate grassland of africa is known as veld the tropical grassland of south america 
near Venezuela is known lioness and in Brazil it is known as camphos and the temperate grassland in this of uh, South America okay in Argentina it is known as pampas so in South America two uh, tropical grassland are there and one temperate grassland extensively known as pampas now prairie prairie is a tropic temperate grassland it is a temperate grassland in North America prairie region it is also famous you have uh, read also it is also famous for extensive wheat cultivation okay so this region prairie region is a temperate grassland of North America and here you can see Europe and Asia mainly it is called the steppe it is a temperate grassland the location of the temperate grassland it is called the steppe it is in mainly extended in Asia and some part of Europe Europe and Asia it is extensively called steppe and the temperate grassland of Australia it is called the Downs D O W N S here is a temperate grassland of Australia it is known as Down so from this map you have got one clear concept about the tropical and the temperate grassland as well as their location where they are located okay so follow this map okay it is you can see it is given on your screen from here you can uh, watch or see and practice in the world map okay you can use the color or symbol okay on the tropical and the temperate grassland so i hope that i can make you understand about the location and i have also shown you where they are located on the world map so don't be confused and mixed it up you just take out your map and you just go on practicing first of all you can see the video and then you can practice with seeing and afterward you have to practice without seeing after this slide i have given you some question also in question pattern so that you can practice it easily suppose mark the area in africa covered by mediterranean vegetation so you have to particularly locate on the african part which has been covered up with mediterranean vegetation next is the locate the area of temperate grassland in australia so where the temperate grassland is located in australia particular region you have to mark do green color in the area where tropical evergreen forests are found so in our in entire world where the tropical evergreen forests are found you have to do green color as per question locate savanna savanna is the tropical grassland of africa just now with what i have told so you have to mark it mark the area covered under deciduous forest in india so particularly in deciduous forest tropical deciduous forest which part of our country has been covered up with deciduous forest mainly maximum part of our country is covered under tropical deciduous forest in our country so any part of india you just mark it okay so like these types of question will also come in the examination so you have to first of all you have to practice all the vegetation grassland then according to question you have to practice so these are some practice set also given you can uh, after uh, practicing the entire all the vegetation and the grassland of the world tropical both temperate and tropical then you can practice these types of question so you just uh, note down the question in your copy also as well as accordingly you will practice so i hope uh, you have already understood so let me recap of the video what i have discussed we have discussed about the tropical grassland we have discussed about the temperate grassland where they are located and about this tropical and temperate grassland in your textbook on chapter number six you can also go through it okay for details as well as about the vegetation which has found tropical evergreen tropical deciduous mediterranean coniferas okay then tundra for these types of vegetation also detailed information is given in your ncrt textbook follow that book then follow the map and you should practice accordingly so i hope you have understood the part and you will practice accordingly and give me the report you can uh, send uh, your practice map through to me to whatsapp or through my mail id so thank you all and have a nice day ahead thank you everyone and bye